Okay, I'm still doing um, these musical photos, and these are all um, just posed groupings of kids, and I've actually been working on a number of them since about down here. I don't know, so I've done quite a few um, groups of kids. And um, as you see, it's very bright down at the bottom, and I wanted to show you one thing I was doing with the adjustment brush. Um, I click on the adjustment brush up here in the upper right, and it gives me this dialog down here. Um, my exposure, um, what I'm choosing here is a built-in Lightroom um, preset called Exposure. It remembers this setting I had exactly the last time I used it. I am going to try to darken down here. Now you can set the exposure at anything you want, minus 1.13, and you can brush it. And I, oh, I want to show you that I have the auto mask off because I don't want it to grab the edges down here. And I'm using the mouse with the wheel. I find it's faster to change size with the wheel. So I darkened it a little bit. I actually want to darken it a lot. Watch what happens. So it's minus 2.99. I'm going to do another new one. I started this last one at 1.313, so that's why it kicked in at that. Um, it's actually not dark enough there. Let's darken it one more time. And we'll add a little bit more in to blend it. I have a very, very, very um, big feather on it. 74, and you can see when you look at the um, circle, the plus is in the center is where it's sampling. Then the um, then there's an inner circle and an outer circle, and the space between the inner circle and outer circle is the amount of feather that you have. So um, if I come over here to add more feather, it's going to increase that. If I bring the feather down, it's going to decrease it and give it a harder edge. So I want it kind of big, and I just kind of brush in there. Let's do one more. I'll click New. I'm just going to see if I can get rid of these stairs a little bit more. And there, I have darkened it, but not completely obnoxious. It looks like there's no lights on in the house, um, but really there were. And it's real quick. Now I'm going to do it real, without really talking and adjusting. I'm just going to do it real quick, and you can see I'm going to go darker than that before I even start. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. And if I overshoot, I can, I'm going to click New again to bring up a new one. And go like this. Okay, and one more, and I'm just going to click New. I'm just going to do the stairs just a little. Get rid of those. Okay, so now, if you look at these points, um, the dot, the one that has the filled in black dot is the active one, and you can see that my red, when I hover over it, it shows me red, um, which area it covers. Now, watch, I overshot a little bit, and I got the actors. See how I got the actors on that one? This one's not yet selected. It's still um, solid white, but if I click on it, it turns black, and now I can come over here to erase. I have auto mask on, which I want. I'm going to use my wheel to scroll down to make it smaller, and I'm going to erase back some more detail. I don't want it totally dark in front of them. Okay, so let's hover over it and see what happens. Now it's cleaned up just a little. I can clean up around her shoe too. And I'll do one more, see where that one is. Um, I really only have a little bit to clean up on that one. Just run my brush over that. So um, it's really fast to do it. Um, it's a quick little adjustment and um, works great um, in the opposite direction if you have high key white, like a big white vinyl background from Denny's or um, big white paper. Um, and it's not quite, um, white enough in some areas. My vinyl sometimes gets a crease in it when the kids walk over it. I get a diagonal crease because it sort of moved on me. And um, if I do that, I don't notice it necessarily um, when it, when it's all bright, but then you bring it into, into Lightroom and you can see that there's a couple little shadows. So you can real quickly, instead of a negative number, you can bring that number way up. And um, I don't know where that negative number was. Where's my history? Well, undo that. Um, you can bring it way up and you can help fix some of your high key um, things too. So that's just a real quick little um, tutorial on adjustment brushes for something like this. Um, adjusting to the extremes is kind of what I think of it. Um, I actually have a preset for adjusting white. Um, background brighten. If I show you that, you know, 
Well, I'm going to have to undo because it's, it's right now it's working on this active one right here. But my background brighten actually brights, brightens it more than a stop, almost a stop and a half. This is for when I do high key white and I need to get the gray edges gone. Um, and I take down the clarity just a little bit because I'm working on the background. I don't need if there's any edges or anything. I just want them gone. And um, take down the sharpness. Um, so that's just one of mine. I, I also have slighten, background slightly brighten. I have background darken, background darken slightly. And you, These are all homemade presets. You can find what works for the way you shoot. Um, I find that when I'm just doing something like this, exposure works great. Okay, um, So let me undo in the history back to where it was in case it's not. Very good. So um, try play around with that um, adjustment brush and um, you can do all kinds of great things with it. With the auto mask on it detects the edges and with the auto mask off it um, does not detect the edges. So be careful with that. If you're doing a, a big old brush over the sky you want the auto mask off because otherwise all the edges or if you're in it outside you'll have all the edges of the trees or whatever is behind in your scene and you do not want it to select um, to miss the edges you want it to get the whole thing so um, go ahead and try and play around with that and let me know if you have questions